Hello, this is Lisa Shea, and I'm going to talk with you about how to make string art. First, I'll show you a few pictures to get a sense of what this looks like. You're going to need two pieces of paper, some acrylic paint, and some string. So you start by making various little blobs of the acrylic paint and squishing your string into it. You want a piece that's maybe a foot or two feet in length. The longer string's good if you're going to have giant pieces of paper, but for a small piece of paper, you don't need a giant length of string. So here you can see my string is all mushed into various blobs of color. I don't want the color to mix together too much because then it will all just turn gray. So there's a purple blob and an aqua blob and a dark blue blob. And the string has gotten all the different bits of the acrylic paint onto it. So I'm going to pull it out and shake it loose. Now here's one piece of paper and I'm going to lay the string down onto the paper. And you could do swirls and little wiggles in there. You just want the end of the string to eventually get down to the bottom of the paper because that's how you're going to pull it up. Then we're going to put a second piece of paper on top of it. You can use any kind of paper that you want. You can use watercolor paper or drawing paper. You can even use fabric if you're using this with fabric paints. And you want to press it down pretty firmly you're not trying to mush it around at this point, you're just trying to get it firm. And then you're going to pull on the string and pull it out from the paper. And the act of pulling it is going to make the paper hold the string and make it swirl around as it's coming loose and heading out towards that one exit point. So we've got all the string out. I'm going to put the string back and peel this up. Oops, sorry. And now you see the front and the back sides of the paper both got the string ink on it from when it was pulling out through that area and now you've got flower types of images and this works great for making all sorts of different abstract designs. Ask with any questions and let me know what else you'd like to see videos about. Thank you very much.